Do you ice fish? I know Gus here loves it. Now while it's a great way to spend time outdoors in the winter, there are some risks associated with it. Recently, Mayo Clinic researchers published a study on common injuries people who fish suffer from. Here's Dr. Teals, the lead physician from that study, to tell us more. We used a national database to identify ice fishing related injuries in the United States. We then compared ice fishing injuries to non-ice fishing injuries to identify characteristics of those injuries. What we found was that ice fishing injuries made up about 1% of all fishing related injuries in the United States, and majority of these injuries did occur in men. Fortunately, the majority of these injuries were relatively minor and involved mostly injuries to the bones or muscles, likely related to slips on the ice. But what we did find was that drownings occurred for about 5% of the injuries. In addition, heat-related injuries, including inhalation injuries, also accounted for about 5% of the injuries, and this is likely due to the heating systems used in the ice houses. Hmm. I wonder why these injuries happen. Gus, any ideas? Let's ask an expert who can help us. Ice fishing is a very popular sport, but there are a few key safety considerations to keep in mind. First, don't drink alcohol to excess. This will only impair your judgment. Second, wear warm clothing that covers all of your skin. We know that hypothermia as well as burns are common during ice fishing. Third, use the buddy system. Make sure you tell a friend, neighbor, or somebody back at the resort where you are at all times. Lastly, the ice is at its thinnest during the first and last parts of the winter. With these tips, you can be safe while ice fishing. Well, Gus, sounds like ice fishing can be dangerous if you're not careful. Why don't we get you bundled up and get rid of this alcohol and then really do some fishing? That's much better. Aren't you more comfortable? Thanks for watching Saving Lives with Gus. And remember, be safe, be healthy, be happy.